Easy glove can stalk him and follow this jab with a beautiful left hook to the head. You saw that coming because he was allowing Glufkin to stalk with any, without any pressure or without any worry of being punched back. Anytime Golovkin can stalk like this, he's bound to catch you with something big soon. Beautiful left hook. when Marco Antonio Rubio went down early in the second round in Carson last ball. Triple now he has a harder target to find. Triple G said yesterday that this may be a couple rounds of him feeling Monroe out before he unleashes the heavy artillery. Well, he's feeling Monroe's jab early. Monroe's landed a couple of long right jabs and slipped in a left hand across the top. Monroe in a rhythm at the beginning. Now Golovkin begins to open up and fire some heavy shots. And there's a hard right hand by Golovkin. Yeah, both guys have landed some pretty good punches. Golovkin, Monroe was 10 up 39, got started early, pumping his jab and landing a couple of left hands, but the last two minutes of the round were mostly Golovkin offense. Like Chocolatito on the undercard, who scored a sensational second round knockout against Sosa. Make him respect the punching power. You have to be able to hit him, or he can just have free range target practice. And when he can have free range target practice, that's what happens. Down happen. goes the run. Yes, but you can't let Glockin have free range target practice at you because he's going to catch you sooner or later. Oh, Golovkin had a wide open shot with a left hook and missed it. He could have brought a finish to this if he had landed that punch. Once again, traps Monroe in the corner. And Monroe's still really on his feet, and Glockin won't give him room to think. It's constantly keeping the pressure on. Now he goes Monroe for the second time. We've got a minute still to go in round number two. Golovkin trying to max Chocolatito with a second round knockout of his own. Can you continue? Crowd is getting its money for it. Of course they are, Jim. They came to see the knockout artists, and they're seeing them. Lovkin's got 46 seconds oh. left in the round. Oh, good shot the by Monroe. The best shot that Monroe's landed this fight is that left and uppercut. And another one. Lands a second left uppercut. And Gennady shakes it off and comes back. Right hand. Left hook to the body. One more shot upstairs. There it is. Overhand right. Hurt him really bad. But well, Gennady's being very careful because he knows that Monroe is trying to catch him as well. So if you're not being very smart here. Monroe showing big heart, not just fighting to survive, not just tying him up, throwing punches back. Ten seconds to go in the round. Willie Monroe gets a momentary edge there as Jack Reese warned on the low blows. And Golovkin with one more rally. Can't get him out of there before the end of round two. But he knocked him down twice in the second round. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Listen to me. Breathe. Breathe for me. Breathe for me. All right, relax. 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 How you doing, brother? You good? Yeah. Go, you gotta move, baby. Don't stand up. Easy Glockin stalking and follow this jab with a beautiful left hook to the head. You saw that coming because he was allowing Glockin to stalk. With any, without any pressure or without any worry of being punched back. Anytime Golovkin can stalk like this, he's bound to catch you with something big soon. Beautiful left hook. Compu box count in the second round, 22 of the 24 were power shots. The left hook appeared to do the most damage, Roy. Yes, the left hook did do the most damage, and it's mainly because when Monroe throws his left hand or his right hook, he kind of stays high, Jim. And you already see that the banger can put you down. You have to make him respect you, or he'll continue to walk through your punches until he gets the knockout. Monroe getting his best offense in since Triple G hurt him. Because he's not, not moving around away from Triple G anymore. He's just saying, if you're going to hit me, I'm going to hit you back at least. And you got to watch that left hook from Triple G, because Triple G trying to set it up again. Golovkin obviously believes Monroe can't hurt him. And he may be right about that. We know Golovkin can obviously hurt Monroe. Golovkin can take a shot 
as he showed against Murray, as he showed knocking out Daniel Gill while getting hit in the mouth with the right hand. Took a couple of punches from Rubio and Curtis Stevens. Monroe is not as big a puncher as those guys. No, but these are not pity pats he's been throwing this round so far, Monroe. Well, and ripping to the body as well as he can. And Golovkin comes back with a couple of body shots of his own. And I think that was a good body shot by Golovkin just now. Straight right hand landed for Gennady. Another straight right hand lands for Gennady. Leaping in to try to get in a left hook. And Monroe actually would do better if he just sit down and fight and quit moving because when he comes up high to move is when he gives Gennady a chance to hit him with a big shot. Lovkin in the third round, 24 out of 56. Monroe, 14 out of 56. And 21 of Golovkin's 24 landed punches were power shots. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, I got a three to nothing, 30 to 25, Gennady Golovkin. You got to give him a 10-7 round for the two knockdowns in round number two, Jim. So, you know, that gives him a real big lead on the scorecards. If he isn't made, Gennady Golovkin just out banging Willie Monroe. Willie would be smart, just like Roy said. Been on the ropes and in the corner. Although, Roy, as you said, now that he's bunkered down and started to fight in the middle of the ring he's had more success well he hit Gennady with a really good right hook to the body early but he didn't follow it up if he'd have followed it up it would have been a very impressive thing to see and when he stands here and fights at least he does punch back when he runs away he only gets hit he's not landing anything running so he should go ahead and just take it right here and either win it or lose it right here in the center of the ring quit running and giving Gennady uh, the edge or giving him that room to work with Make it tough for him. The minor upset already that Monroe's here firing back in the fourth round after the way he looked in that second round. Yes, it is, but it's because he's fighting more now. But he got to throw power punches when he throws because when you throw those little punches, as we saw against Daniel Gill, oh. Gennady will walk through those little punches. Those are big shots Monroe's hitting Golovkin with. That's exactly with right. That's exactly right. He got to do that. is quite an effort Willie Monroe is putting forth here in round number four. Unreal. Yeah, the Willie Monroe throwing punches, through a jab and followed with a beautiful straight left hand, probably one of the hardest shots we've seen Golovkin get hit, get, get hit with, and Golovkin just looked at him and said, yes, good punch, come on. That was something new. And Harold Letterman gave that round to Willie Monroe. I agree with Harold. I mean, oh, uppercut lands for Golovkin. Seemed to hurt Willie Monroe. Maybe academic, but. Oh. oh. Hook how the top of the hurt. Hey, I hurt him really bad, Jim. And that's because he's not punching. When he's punching, he does better. But when he tries to defend and allows Glufkin to hunt, he gets caught every time. You can't let Golovkin just stalk you and hunt you like this. Look at the hard left hand by Monroe. I mean, Monroe is hitting Golovkin with shots where Golovkin's head is snapping and the sweat is flying. And Golovkin is in a fight, don't get it twisted. But you can't let him just come at you free range or free will. You have to make him. They've both done some good body work at points in this fight. And now Monroe's in a corner against the ropes. This is where Golovkin has done damage before. Hard shot by Monroe. You see Jim Monroe is fighting off the ropes now. Yeah, but those pity pat punches will get him caught with a big shot if he's not careful. And you don't want to swap a pity pass shot for or two pity pass for one big shot. He's making the night work, though. Don't get it twisted. Quick left hook for Golovkin. That's a shot that often does damage for him. Hard right hand. See, Monroe has to deliver the same thing to Golovkin. You can't allow Golovkin just to keep punching you like that. Golovkin got a little, went a little head hunting in that second round when he was trying to take Monroe out. And instead of really working the body, and it may have preserved Monroe's legs for this point in the fight. When you're inside, you got to move ahead and punch. You got to find the holes he's giving them to you with. Do not. Let's breathe. Breathe. Deep really breath. Talk to me, Will. You doing good, brother? Yeah. Okay. What you doing, man? Deep breath. Okay. But you just gotta keep working. You gotta keep touching him. Keep yeah. touching him. He's gonna give you the one you want. But if you if you stop, then he's gonna recover. All right. Deep breath. Now you haven't been using the jab. I want to see a little better jab, even if at the shoulders. 
Keep close, moving your head, hands up, and dig his fucking ass. Dig his ass! Our punch is through five. Golovkin, 107 out of 226, 47%. Monroe, about half as many, 56 out of 169. Golovkin took over the punch count leadership in the last round oh, again. Heard it with Straight a right uppercut. Right uppercut, heard it really Straight bad, John. He's right. wobbled Monroe again. Yeah, right uppercut. He's got him against the ropes. Oh, right uppercut hurt him really bad, and the hook just hurt him even worse. He's out of here. Third knockdown. There were two knockdowns in the Four second round, eight, and now he knocks five, him down for the third time six, here in the sixth. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You just beat it. You just beat it. You got to move faster. You want to continue? His legs are you gone. You want to continue? His legs are gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Willie Monroe says to Jack Reese, I don't want to continue. He said, I'm done. And he was. Sixth round technical knockout for Gennady Golovkin. Maybe he showed a moment of vulnerability or two. Maybe he tantalized future opponents. But at the end of the day, it's knockout number 20 in a row. And I guess, Roy Jones, you're going to tell me that was a wise decision by Willie Monroe. Well, that was a very wise decision by Willie Monroe. Uh, as a fighter, you don't want to see a fighter have to make that decision. You'd rather the ref or his corner have to make that decision for him. But at that point, his legs were so finished, and he realized that he was done. So I thought it was wise on his part to tell the ref that I'm done. Better thunderous Golovkin shot. Yeah, right here you see Golovkin coming in, hunting, through, through a right uppercut, followed by a left uppercut to the neck, an overhand right to the top of the head. That hurt him really bad. Missed him with a left hook. Came back with another overhand right that hurt a little bit after taking a jab. And this is what I meant by when I said you don't want to take a, a give a pity pat to take a big punch. So he took a, a, a he gave a jab to take a big shot. Then that left uppercut hurt him really bad right there. Followed by that left hook right there, right behind the ear. That really was the finishing punch to me. That was Golovkin's signature punch. Then Triple G, knowing he had his opponent done, to an overhand right, followed by a left hook. Now he smells blood. He's on the attack, and he will not let up because he's relentless once he starts that attack. Knockout number 20 in a row for Gennady Golovkin. And here it is in real speed. Another oh. look at the rally that produced the knockout. Yeah, that left uppercut did it all, Jim. That's what started all the drama. That big left uppercut hurt him really bad. Didn't hurt him again with the overhand right. And that left hook on the ear right there did it. That really finished matters. And now it was just a matter of time. And if you've ever heard the phrase heavy hands, heavy oh, hands me. means Five, that the punch doesn't have to look six. spectacular to hurt you. Gennady Golovkin is a classic case of heavy hands. Yes, he is.